do I have the co-host so I can? Yes, I like the new lighting in your uh, lab, lab. Thank you. So I just started the recording, so I need the recording anyway. So if you need it, I'll send it to you on Telegram later. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, add that I'm very proud of the people coming, you know, to the Amsterdam event, especially from far away. I know how much it takes to come there. So to everyone coming from Australia, big shout out, especially now the people here from the US, since it's a US team call, uh, shout out to the four people that are coming. I mean, that's insane. I know how much, uh, you know, resources you actually need to, to do this. Uh, I mean, myself, I travel a lot and I know how hard it is and, you know, how much money it costs and shit like that. But yeah, I'm definitely happy to be here today and shout outs to the whole US team. Uh, thank you, obviously, for the, the introduction, Cindy. I guess you are one of the best uh, uh, introduct, uh, like best edifier in the whole community. Um, it's really, really crazy. I'm really proud uh, that you joined us uh, nearly, how long is it now? One and a half years? I don't even know, bro. Time is so fast. One and a half years, right? Insane. Yeah, so 1.7, 1. 1. so one year and seven months. And uh, when you said and you explained like all the international markets uh, blowing up and you started to talk a little bit how I started the community, the only sentence that came into my mind is like start uh, local and end global. And TPR is definitely on the global takeover right now. Uh, we are having so many new, you know, uh, lands that we conquered uh, where we are putting our flag on and educating people and obviously that is uh, my biggest goal and was always my biggest goal uh, basically it started to be the goal to you know help a couple of people and myself out when it comes to finance but to impact so many people internationally is like for me the most beautiful thing and that gives me energy every day to push this business hard and to continue to fly to the places and come to the event so obviously Amsterdam is one thing or Rotterdam uh, is obviously uh, uh, you know a uh, um, how do I say? It's like you, you guys have to be there, right? There's like no, it doesn't matter. Like you have to do everything to be there. It doesn't matter whatever it takes, right? Um, to become a top leader, to become someone that is free in life and, you know, has a good mindset. There is no other way of you guys really thinking of this as a task, as a quest that you need to, you know, you actually need to conquer, you need to fulfill uh, uh, towards success, right? Because it's going to train you on how to, you know, put and get resources together on coming to this event, even though it's mainly difficult for most of you. I know that when it comes to the financial terms and the financial situation we are currently in, but just in general, I know it takes a lot of leap of, you know, a big leap of faith. I know it's like for some people, even, you know, the anxiety kicks in flying so long, flying alone, whatever, you know, I, I know it's hard, right? I'm, I'm, I know it. So I really respect everyone coming and you should really, really, really come because at the end of the day, the outcome that you're going to get from this is insane because most, not most, all of the leaders that are big today in my community, in our community, in the TPR, in the IBA, in I genius in fucking network marketing in this game anyways, are people that took the decision to come and be around the top leaders to feel the energy to be there because what you guys are going to get from there is not only you're going to be there in person, you're going to meet the people, but your commitment level is going to raise to 100% because you are committing and you're putting resources up front to come. So really, really, really appreciate everyone coming because uh, this is going to be the biggest event that we're going to have to show the markets, right? We have to show the markets that we are the best, we are the strongest, we are already, but now we have to show them. It's time to prove them by showing in numbers of people attending the event that we are the largest community and we are the best, right? So I need you guys' help and I know it's going to be the best for your success because if it wouldn't be, I wouldn't tell you, right? Because for me, the most important thing is always the people. Now, little cut on this, I want to focus a little bit on explaining you guys what is currently happening uh, I mean, some of you guys maybe have seen my video, uh, the big crash is coming, the S&P 500 analysis with the SK system. If not, I really recommend you guys watching it, not because it's another view on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just because it, it educates you in combination with the SK system. So all the knowledge that I'm giving in this video comes from this community, comes from our educators, come from the SK system. And it's really, really, really important that if you guys go out there and you sell and you recommend the products of iGenius and you are networkers or traders yourself, that you understand what is the biggest and the main point, why it's so important for people right now to wake the fuck up and understand what is happening with the markets. And I figured out I'd rather give you another mindset talk, not only just talking about mindset, but actually showing you what is happening. So I re-educate you guys. Uh, there's another thing that today happened uh, that uh, uh, made me uh, understand that what we are doing is perfectly correct and we are going into the right direction. I was uh, today introduced into the community of Imam Gatsi, uh, someone that I follow, someone that I send a lot of videos out because he's just insane. And uh, he has this personal crypto analyzer, which is very uh, well known in the space. Uh, he doesn't show his face, so you only know his like 
you know, like his acronym, like a name and stuff like that. But he, uh, I watched a video today on the, on the videos that you have access to if you are part of his community. And he basically teaches the same thing that we teach us. He even uses nearly the same system. It's not the SK system, but the same way he analyzes the markets. He has definitely the same uh, message that we all as top leaders give you. And that's insane, right? So it's cool to see that the top wealthiest young people like the, like Iman Gatsis and these kind of guys, they, they say the same and they teach the people the same thing. And that makes me very proud because we are not far off of what uh you know other very big communities and very very big people in the game and multi 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 millionaires teach you guys okay so i figured out i'll go over with you a little bit over the market i'm not going to do it too technical so you guys understand a little bit more so it doesn't matter if you trade this case system or not if you are good in trading or not if you have any experience or not just try to understand it because this will intensify the belief and your experience and what you need to understand when you go out into this world and you teach actually people what we do, because there's always a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth layer of not only just recommending products so people can make money, but there's a very big reason why right now is the best time to really join this and learn about trading and investing in general, because the market is just perfect and we have a big crash. Now, if I talk about any countries, about any markets, it's nothing personal. It's not about the people that live there. It's about the economy, the system and everything uh, uh, that, uh, you know, is like when it comes to the government, not per people, right? So sometimes I hate a lot on the US. Sometimes I hate a lot on Germany, I'm not hating on German people, not hating on people in the US, uh, not any, you know, state or whatever specific, it's just like about the economics and you guys need to understand that. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys here. And what you see is the same analysis that you're going to see in my video uh, in the S&P 500, the big crash video that I did, uh, because we are really, uh, you know, like nearly about to crash this market to a 50% uh, whole crash. So for example, um, so for some people that understand the SK system, this is the sequence and this activated sequence, activated means the probability of the market going where we want it to be uh, or not where we want it to be, but where the C is indicating it, right? Is about like a 50% crash from now on, okay? So markets are correcting a little bit and then we will probably see a big crash of 50% in the S&P 500. The S&P 500 represents the 500 largest uh, um largest stock companies so the largest companies basically uh, that you can buy stocks of in the us so these are the 500 largest companies in the us markets uh, such as apple and so on they are reflect uh, reflected in this s p 500 right so 500 stocks of the largest like the, the, the companies are driving the economy right they are in there and we are seeing uh, or we are forecasting a very very big crash on the s p 500 why because in the last couple of months and years now uh, the U.S. has been combating um, the problems of uh, economical uh, slowdown and economical uh, a decrease with uh, inflation or basically with printing a lot of money, which leads in an inflation, right? So the U.S. has been, as you guys know, printing a lot of new money, giving a lot of new money into the markets, which leads to inflation, which is pretty high right now, right? So especially myself, when I go to L.A., uh, from now on and then, I mean, I've been in LA in April, then I've been in LA in September last year, and I've been in LA a couple of weeks ago. And I feel like every time I go there, the coffee price just doubles, bro. It's insane. So it is like, I, uh, there's no like more, ex like LA is insane. Like just like, bro, like LA is insane. Germany is insane. The inflation is pretty high in Germany since the euro has been, uh, you know, just going down um in, in in comparison to the us dollars right because us dollars went up because they have been printing more and more and more money and the economy was driven or they drove it up but now the problem is that uh, with all this money in the market we are losing a lot of buying power so we are forecasting or experts and especially the people that know about trading myself and all the other educators are forecasting a big crash in the s p 500 because this shit has to correct now if we go into the past and if you, I'll just open the chat. And if you guys, you know, think I'm going too fast or you don't understand it, then just be honest and put it in the chat. I can just re-explain it. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to go back in the thinking of, you know, how some of you guys understand it and how I talk about it. There are some things that I might say that for me are completely, completely normal and obvious. And for you guys, like, what the fuck is he talking about? So don't feel uh, bad interrupting me or asking me or saying I, I did not understand that, right? And I know I speak very fast, so sometimes this can even get... Uh, a little bit difficult, right? So just let me know. So the last crash that we had, or like the last flash crash, flash crash means like a, a high and fast job was the COVID crash. 
uh, where the market went down in total for 35, uh, oh, sorry, 35.2 percent. Right, this is nothing if you compare it to what is going to happen. It's going to be 50 percent crash. And even if you go back into 2018, where we had the last big recession in the market, this was probably a, a, a correction of maybe uh, 40 percent in total. We can check it out together one more time. I'm not so sure. So let's go back into 2008. So this is basically here the span of the highest uh, to the lowest, which is 57%, right? So this is a major drop, even higher than from now on. But if you take, if you consider the whole top until the bottom, this is like, uh, you know, like 57% uh, so nearly the same. Okay. So it's going to be as strong as and even stronger as the recession in 2008. I know some of you people, uh, I was very young in 2008, right? I still remember my mom uh, had problems in her job. There was a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of problems with people getting money. There was a lot of problems with the companies. Obviously, it's a recession, right? So it's a very bad time when it comes to money and and, and just like in general jobs and, 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 you know, just a lot of chaos and a lot of fear in the market. So this is going to happen pretty soon. I would say even before 2024 or 2024 or even this year. So in the next two years, this is uh, probably going to happen. Uh, can happen tomorrow, can happen in a couple of months. I mean, I don't have to educate you guys. Everyone saw it in the news when it comes to the US banks going down. Funny thing, I landed in LA the day the, the, the bank went down in Silicon Valley. Uh, a Swiss, a major Swiss bank went down, uh, the Credit Suisse, right? Uh, I, I walked by and uh, I walked by a Credit Suisse uh, uh, bank or shop or however you call it, like uh, the bank, uh, which is like pretty open at the airport. You just walk by and the people working there look pretty pissed. So um, yeah, this bank went down, were bought by the UBS. So banks are failing right now in real time. Crypto exchanges are failing as FTX happen and stuff like that. So there's a lot of backlash in the economy, which is completely normal. We're going to see more of it. Now, what is important if you see all of this is, again, we are forecasting and seeing a big crash, which we can perfectly analyze with the SK system. And also in the past, all the different crashes, all the different corrections, we could have forecasted them and we did uh, with the SK system. So just like re- re um re um not pushing but like re um i say differently it's just like to show you guys how insanely perfect and how insanely good and how crazy this sk system at the end of the day is right now if we go to the dixie the dixie is the us dollar currency index so it just reflects the us dollar and what the us dollar is doing um this is another thing that we can check when it comes to understanding the markets and then what the markets are doing uh which you can perfectly see here from all time highs. So that's the top until now, the US dollar in buying power crashed by 10%, right? So it's 10% uh, worth less in buying power. And you cannot just translate it directly into that, but that's how it feels like, right? And I would say people in the US, even though it feels like more than 10% of the buying power when it comes to the inflation and stuff like that. So what we are seeing here is also a very strong downtrend uh, where probably uh, like where we have like a high probability of markets, you know, really, really crashing in the next times and, um, you know, money uh, being um, yeah, worthless or even worth less at the end of the day. And all of this is very, very interesting and important. Why? Because the people that are going to take the biggest hit on this is obviously oh, it's always going to be the people that have normal jobs, right? People that have no second income people that have no investments, people that are not diversified, people that are living off credits and mortgages, people that, um, you know, they, they, they are just standing on one pillar at the end of the day, right? And that's like 90% of the people, obviously, that's why 90% of the people are broke, right? So all the, and yeah, I, I don't want to say like that, but all the brokies, right? they gonna take a very big 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 hit of this right obviously also the rich people are gonna feel it depending on how they are invested but if you are smart such as our leaders and people that know about the markets and they have a lot of cash flow they can make a lot of money with this right this thing here is probably the last so this correction this crash is probably the last real strong opportunity to really turn people into really rich, like wealthy, right? Like people such as uh, leaders that have money, people that have a lot of cash flow, people that have been educating themselves about money in the last couple of years. These people now, if they are a little bit smart, and I'm just looking so much at it because I'm sitting on so much money that I'm making every month through iGenius, like the cash flow. And that's why I always say cash flow is so important. And I'm just buying everything, bro. I'm buying uh, uh, bags, Goyard bags. I don't even give a fuck about bags. They look gay as fuck, but it's just, I'm just buying it, right? 
um, and and um, I'm buying, uh, you know, like cryptos and NFTs and 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 gold and silver and uh, mining cards and coins and Ripple and Ethereum and Bitcoin and stocks and just buying, 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 buying and just leaving uh, money on the side to even buy more, right? Uh, because I know probably the markets will crash a little bit more before they go up. So if you have this mindset, right, it's insanely important. Why? Because this mindset at the end of the day, so the knowledge that we teach you guys, the money mindset, right? And then the cash flow that you guys are building through network marketing is going to help you to survive this, right? Because again, this is insane opportunities, insane opportunities to make a lot of money that you guys are missing if you don't have money. So there's two components, obviously, there's the money side and there's the knowledge side. So let's say you have the knowledge, but you don't have the money. Difficult, right? It doesn't matter how good of a trader you are. If you don't have the means, if you don't have the money, like you're just going to see it go up and you're not in it, right? But let's say you have the money, but you don't have the knowledge and most likely you will lose it or lose it even all because you are bad at investing, you are wrongly diversified and so on, right? So that's very, very important to understand. Now, why and what do we do with this crash, right? Why is it so important to have money and make money and have cash flow and have a second income? It's first of all, because uh, of your own protection, of your own security. Obviously, if someone, uh, you know, if your job kicks you out, if you are laid over, whatever. But especially what happens if uh, the market's correct is obviously they correct and then they go up again, like always, right? That's always happened. It's always the same thing. So if I go back into the S&P 500 here for you guys and I'll, I'll show you what we're going to do and what we are waiting for is basically very, very easy. We are waiting for uh, a correction, right? Where we can just go in and, and buy cheaper. And that's what everyone does. That's what everyone does. So when there's, um, when there's blood on the streets, we buy. It means when there's chaos and when everyone is happy, uh, we, we sell, right? So if the markets crash until this point, uh, imagine buying assets 50% cheaper, right? So we are holding cash here. We are even sometimes even selling stuff right now. We are making money. And as soon as the market comes down to this point, right, we start to buy. And what is going to happen is most likely this. Now, why did I say this is probably the last time where it's so going to be so easy to make money and really become wealthy, where there's really like a wealth transfer, right? Where rich people and wealthy people, let's talk about wealthy, where wealthy people are going to go broke and, and, and poor people or rich people are going to turn into wealthy. It's because there's a change, right? There's a big change right now. It's not just as a correction. There's first of all, a change in power, right? There's a change in, in US losing the um, primary or like the, 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 like the, like being the superpower, right? I mean, the biggest single signal or explanation or a measurement of how to say and how to see if a nation is a superpower is their currency, the US dollar, right? In the past, as you guys might have known, the US dollar was used as an international uh, uh, international trading currency, right? If you, were, if, you, if you would have bought oil, you needed the US petrodollar, like you need US dollars, right? Even with Gaddafi back then that tried to overthrow US and US was in a way more powerful situation, they just killed him because uh, they wanted the US dollar to continue. So a superpower, the single measurement of a superpower is their currency and how accepted the currency is. And you call it even, um, you call it, um, um, you call it, um, there's a specific term that I'm losing or lost right now. It's, um, it's I'll, I'll find it anyways. Again, I'll just tell you because it's important for you guys to be educated and know that. But again, the currency, the single most valuable thing is the currency, right? And you might have heard the news that big uh, uh, Asian players, right, such as China, uh, we have Egypt, uh, including Egypt, uh, we have uh, Saudi Arabia, and all of them, they are currently and they hopped out of the US dollar agreements. They are not accepting US anymore. And they are seeing that the US is weak, right? And I don't know if you I don't have to tell you that the U.S. is weak. I mean, just look at their leader, right? Look at the morals, look at the ethics, look at what is happening in the country, right? There's, everything is confused. The inflation is high. The leadership sucks, right? Um, and that's just true, right? You can see it. I mean, a guy that kind of even walks stairs, how can he be a leader of a country, right? So the problem is, is that um, the reserve currency, now I got it. The reserve currency is moving from U.S. dollar more into the Asian. So we are seeing a transitioning of superpowers from um, from the Western world, right, which is uh, uh, US, and then we have uh, Europe, 
uh, which was a so-called paradise. So still today, people think Germany, uh, Switzerland, Austria, especially Germany is the perfect country. Everyone is rich there. It's a perfect country to live. It's a perfect country to make money. No, that's not true. You are seeing a decrease in, uh, uh, you are seeing a decrease in security. You are seeing a decrease in moral and ethics. You are seeing a decrease in income. You are seeing an increase of uh, people being homeless, okay? So it's the direct opposite. So we are shifting from the Western dominating uh, uh, world into an um, Eastern, where it's like China is a big player in the future. And that happens every 50 years, more likely 50, 60, 40 years, right? So we had the Dutch empire, we had the British empire, we had the, the, the other empires before that. And now we, have, we are in a shift of empires, which is uh, pretty rough, but also um, the best time to make money. And also for you guys, even more important to understand that you guys need to make money right now, right? You need to have money right now because you're definitely going to be fucked if you don't have money. I'm just going to be honest and excuse my English, uh, but that I'm just talking facts, right? You need to understand that. And then also on top of that, very, very important is that when the shift happens, right? There's a lot of money to be lose, like a lot of money that you can lose. Uh, and a lot of people will lose a lot of money, but also a lot of uh, money that can be made, right? And that's why we talk about it. So what we're going to do one more time is we're going to wait until markets come to this point somewhere over here. And then we're going to start to rebuy. Now, the only big question, okay? The only big question is, how is the financial system going to change? Are we just changing into an economy that we have a new reserve currency and a new superpower as is China? Or are we changing the whole system of money from completely analog to completely digital when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, central bank uh, coins? So CBDCs, however you call them, right? Are we changing the financial system? And I think that, yes, we are changing the financial system and the economists and the big people and the superpowers, they know that they are losing control. I'm not losing control. It is control. They control it and they control it so it crashes. So they have reasons to introduce a new system. So all of this is a plan. Nothing like if you think crisis and everything, like, do you really think these kind of things, they just happen? No, it's like perfectly under control. It's just like, like, oh, oops, the economy crashed, right? I thought when I was a younger boy and I was in the recession of 2008, seeing my mom and my own family struggling, I thought, oh my God, what happened? No one knows what is happening. There's so much chaos. Uh, uh, this thing crashed uncontrolled no everything is made guys like do you really think people like the elites they don't like it's it's controlled right it's 100 controlled so all of this has to happen so the big question mark here and we have to see in the future is what is going to be important now obviously crypto is always a good investment the majors give don't give a fuck about these shit coins there's like like leave the shit coins beside bitcoin ethereum right the majors then pick one or two that you like i for example like ripple a lot so i invest mainly in bitcoin ethereum and ripple um then later we have altcoin season so cryptos move like this first it's btc right then they move into ethereum okay and then they move out of Ethereum to altcoins and altcoins are different other currencies such as smaller coins, small cap coins, new coins, stuff like that, right? So first you focus on Bitcoin, then you transition Bitcoin to Ethereum and then from Ethereum to altcoins, right? That's how the markets work. So don't start to invest into altcoins now, start with the majors. Even if you say Bitcoin is so expensive, Ethereum is so expensive, it doesn't matter. If you are investing, I recommend, even though I cannot recommend because I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but I, I'm just telling you my opinion, what I'm doing, invest, I am investing into the majors. Even if you just have 0 .0 0.0.001 of a Bitcoin, it's better to have the same amount of money in any shitcoin right now, okay? So don't get fooled by these shitcoins. Don't get fooled by all of this bullshit in the market where you think, oh, I'm easily going to make a 10x, 100x. No, like, no, most likely not, right? So rather just build a strong portfolio, which has good assets such as Bitcoin. Why? Because do you know, and do you understand that people that have a lot of money right now and make a lot of money, where should they put their money? They cannot leave it at the, in the bank. They cannot, makes no sense to buy real estate. It's too expensive right now, right? So the only thing they can do is they can invest it into long-term things or especially into Bitcoin. That's also why uh, it was forecasted that, uh, you know, there was one guy, I forgot his name, that said Bitcoin is going to rally to $1 million in the next three months because of inflation. People don't know where to invest into. Obviously, I think this is very over-exaggerated, but do you get the point? There is the point is true. The point is that there's nothing else to invest into. I mean, I sometimes sit here and it's a very privileged uh, problem. Obviously, I know that, but I sometimes sit here and I don't know where to invest into. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, where do I put my money? You know, 
um, where the government cannot control it, right? Where I cannot leave it in the bank. Like I'm broke on the bank, bro. Like money comes in and out. I'm broke. I have, I don't know, I have 600 euros on my bank account. Like I'm a brokey on my bank account. Everything that is official, I have no money, right? But then when it comes to assets, to investments that the government cannot touch, either I can save them in my own pockets. It's like tangible and it's like I have it or if it's gold watches or if it's something else, um, you know, it is, uh, the government cannot touch it. So that's very, very important. Okay. So that's why crypto is so interesting and the future is so interesting of what is going to happen. Okay. Uh, watch Ray uh, Dale your video 100%. So I, I, all of my knowledge comes from trading myself, you know, uh, seeing all the markets, talking to big experts, analyzing the markets, educating myself a lot uh, on, on what is happening. I mean, maybe you've seen it on my Instagram every night uh, or late night when I'm done with all of my Zoom calls, I sit there on the TV, I watch like documentaries about the past, about what happened for two or three hours, and then I sleep. Why do I study the past? Because history repeats itself, right? You just need, it's always the same shit. So that's basically very, very important when, when it comes to the money mindset, okay? Now, um, obviously, hopefully you understood it so far. When it comes to the analysis, I mean, I, I, I uh, went around it a lot to explain you what is happening. Um, and also when it comes to the superpowers, right? When it comes to the superpowers uh, and the change of uh, Western world into the Eastern world, um, what can you do and what should you maybe do? I mean, I would... I sound crazy if I would say that I would really reconsider you guys of positioning yourself in more in the Eastern world, which I did one year and three months ago. So moving to Dubai, and I said it many times, was for me not just like an emotional move. It was not for me just like, oh, I want to move to Dubai. It's sick there. It's for me because I knew that, and I did it because I knew that's where my family is going to be safe. That's where my money is going to be safe. That's where my rights going to be safe. That's where uh, there's still moral and ethics. That's where the religion is strong, right? And Andrew Tate and all of these other people, they talk a lot about it, right? We have many wars out there. We have like the, the religious war. We have the world powers war. We have real war. We have money war. We have inflation. There's a lot of bullshit happening. So if you know for what Switzerland stands for, uh, the UAE, Dubai, like the United Arab Emirates with Abu Dhabi and all the other seven Emirates, uh, this is the new Switzerland, right? So I would even give you a game plan and maybe you guys think I'm over exaggerating, but I'm not because there's only a couple of things that you have to look out for in your future. First of all is where do you position yourself, right? That the positioning is the most important thing, okay? 100%. Positioning is the most important thing. So you guys need to be very smart. Where do you position yourself in terms of money, in terms of the market, in terms of your mindset, in terms of business, in terms of where do you live, in terms of where do you want to build your companies or register your companies, everything, right? So I made the Dubai move because I knew this is a high probability of being a safe he heaven in the future where I can lead my business from. There's no war. No one is going to bullshit around with them. Uh, we are positioned in the, e like in the Asian side. So that's where the superpower is going to be. They have very good connections, right? Uh, we have Russia to the top left, not to the direct right, such as in Germany, right? Uh, so uh, leaving all this bullshit, okay? And especially when it comes to, you know, living in a country um, that is losing superpower, uh, which again, I'm not saying that you should leave your country or not. That, that depends on you. If you are someone that is very, you know, patriot, uh, like if you are, how do you say it? Pa patri pa uh, I'm missing the words. Um, can someone help me? I want to learn it. I don't know why I'm, uh, why I'm not able to say it right now. Pa pa patriotic. No, I got it. Perfect. Like, if you guys are patriots, right? Uh, thank you. So I, I completely understand that. I also had that thought about Germany. I'm like, okay, Germany gave me so much. Uh, Germany educated me for free. Germany made sure my family is safe. But sometimes you just have to understand when there's a, a ship that is sinking and you have, to you have to ask yourself the question, are you going to stay loyal to a government? And now I'm talking about Germany, not about the US, um, but are you going to stay loyal to a, a, a state or like a, a government or to a country that, you know, takes most of your money, uh, doesn't do shit with it, um, bad infrastructure, uh, unhealthy, wrong morals and ethics, no future, uh, uh, money, uh, very unsafe. Like, why should you stay there, right? You can't like... That's just like, I don't know, this is my feeling, okay? So I would really, and that's very important when it comes to money mindset, because I'm talking to you guys right now as I would talk to my top leaders, right? Because I talk a lot with my top leaders and, I am, and I'm very happy about that. And I think that is uh, what TPR stands for. We are, and our leaders are not just smart about network marketing. We are not just smart about making money, but we are very smart on how we position ourselves, how the future is going to be, what we want, the morals, the ethics, really teaching people way more 
and then just like money and trading, right? I did a post yesterday where we explained the community. And when I said like, we are more than just trading. Some people say we are a trading community. I say we are trading. We are way more than a trading community. We are a community for everything, right? So that's very important for me. And I'm talking to you guys as you guys would be my leaders to really consider and be very smart whether you position yourself in the future. But the very, very, very first thing that you need is the money. You need to figure out the money game in the next years. And the time is running, guys. The time is really fucking running. And I'm saying that because I know that you guys have an opportunity right here. Most of these YouTubers, most of these people out there giving you the such like the same information that I'm giving you, right? They would say you need to make money now, but then they have no idea how to educate you and how to make money. They have no system. Most of them don't have, right? I mean, Andrew Tate has his war room. Iman Gatsy has his, uh, you know, his community with uh, with the, with the um, social media agencies, right? And then there's TPR. Right. But what else? Like most of these people tell you guys to make money, but they don't they don't explain you how to do it and what to do. So we have the system. So, again, guys, this and your future will very much depend on will be determined if you guys are focusing on making money and money. I mean, cash flow. Right. You need cash flow, guys. At least hit the 10 fucking K. Right. At least hit the 10 K that you make 10 K a month. Because this is going to help you to consider that you can move, you can take family with you, you are not living the best life, but you are free, right? Especially when it comes from a company such as iGenius and, uh, you know, a company that is, uh, you know, paying you guys for commissions. And again, there's nothing safe in this world, but your skill set. So you've, you build up the skill set and mindset, then this is going to benefit you a lot, okay? Now, a couple of more things that I can give you around money, okay? And we talk about this many, many times. Now, this age is an age of money, right? Uh, the young people are talking about money. It's all about money. It's all about cars, all about the flex, the culture, the hip hop, the pop. Everything is about money, right? Now, very important is that when everything is about money, that you don't focus on money that much. What do I mean by that? You focus on building your business to make money, but don't make money all of it, okay? Don't define yourself through money. Obviously, money speaks a lot for you and money helps you to, you know, money is... Uh, is a great uh, uh, opportunity for you just run, like to be honest, to just run your mouth. And I said that once, right? Money like gives you a lot of freedom, but don't make all of like, besides the money that I make, I'm not focused on it, right? I'm very happy that I make it, but I'm more focused on my personality. I'm more focused on my mindset. I'm more focused on my inner peace, on my relation in between myself and God or, or religion in general. Or, or becoming a better person or working on my physical uh, body or on my non-physical body or working on my relationships or working on inspiring people. Money is just a tool. So even though everything is about money these days, don't let money, like don't be consumed by money, okay? Obviously, learn about it, make it, but attract it, right? Attract it, don't run to get it, right? Don't, don't hunt it, attract it, okay? And what do I mean by that? If you build a good business, if you give value and you have, you have the right morals and the right ethics, you're gonna make money not only fast, right? In terms of not only one time, but you're gonna make money forever because that's what we do at TPR. We, we, we teach you guys to become personalities. I mean, just look at Cindy, for example, right? For me, the, like Cindy, Jamie, there are so many people that I worked from zero to hero, Richie, uh, so many people that I like, I, they joined as, you know, complete, being complete broke, no real mindset, uh, uh, anxiety problems, whatever, right? Like so many, so many problems in their lives. And, and look at how, what kind of, you know, personalities they became, like how they speak, how they carry themselves, how they inspire people, uh, what kind of lifestyle they live now. Uh, what they teach you, right? Especially Cindy, it's like insane. One year and, and, and what, did you, what did you say? Four months, seven months, whatever. Bro, that's in fucking insane. I still remember, again, I say it so many times and I will never forget. I still remember the first Zoom call with her, you know? And like, like how she speaks now and what she does and what she posts and the, the confidence, bro. That's insane. So that, that's what it's about at the end of the day. And then on top of that, if you have money on top of that, that's beautiful, Right? That's beautiful because you can just intensify all of it. But again, I can, and it does not matter how much I teach you guys about all of this. There's only one thing that you guys need to understand and do right now, and that's focus on getting this cash flow in. And that's network marketing, right? It is, it is just fact. It is network marketing, and you need to have this money mindset that you have to understand. You need the cash flow, right? Put the education a little bit on the backside, like continue to educate yourself. 
educate yourself around their scale system, learn about training, but put it like 80, 20, 90, 10, right? Focus 90% on the marketing, 10% on training. That's how I did it. Do 80, 20, like focus 80% on the network marketing, 20% on the training. Because again, what you need to focus on right now before everything comes down and the shit crashes is that you need money, guys. Because if the markets go down and everything is 50% cheaper and you buy into the market with 10 euros or 100 euros, it's not going to change anything. You know what I mean? So it's so insanely important that you guys really, really focus on doing that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess that's, uh, that's it. I mean, there's a lot of more stuff that I could speak about, but for me, it's also important to speak about things that uh, obviously match your guys' level when it comes to the mindset. I mean, we can do a money mindset 2.0 and 3.0 and 4.0 and 5.0 and 6.0, just depends on where you guys are. And I know a lot of you guys are very new to the community, right? And that's very, very important. Now, I just want to say it again, right? I'm not hating on the US as people, right? I'm talking about government. Don't take this wrong. Sometimes people get pissed off if I speak about countries like that or whatever. Uh, I, I, I'm not focusing and targeting the people, right? I'm talking about the government which um, definitely represents a country, right? So very, very important. For me, everyone is the same. Every religion is the same. I don't give a fuck. As long as you respect me, I respect you. The rest I don't care about. And that's the, the, the values that we teach in the TPR. So please understand that, right? Because sometimes people get it wrong. But it's just like important to understand and to be honest to yourself, where are you positioned right now? You know, where, 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 where in the world are you? And, and how is the future going to look like, right? And are you going to be, um, are you going to be like, an, an, you know, uh, in a position, a bad position, or are you going to be in a better position? And obviously it depends a lot on, on, on where do you build your business and, and, and what you do in life. So I would really recommend you guys to, you know, hustle hard, make a lot of money, have a lot of cash flow, be smart about investing, follow the leaders, build up your cash machine right here. And then in the future, look how everything is going to be done. But one thing that you need to have is like you guys need to be, and that's the most important thing when it comes to money mindset again, which I taught so many times. I have so many videos about it. And Iman Gatsi said it first and it's, I have to give him his credit. I just took it and re-explained it and, and, and explained it in a network marketing sense. Is like number one, time freedom or basically financial freedom. Number two, time freedom. And number three, geographical freedom, right? To be in a position with enough cash flow so you can choose where to live right? Like geographically where you can move uh, because the next years, the next 10, 10, 20, 30, 40 years going to be hard, right? Many people even speculate on big wars, you know? Um, I mean, we have never been so near to a third world war. And if you just listen to the consciousness, to the gen, like if you just listen to the media, if you listen to what is happening in the world and what people are saying, this is like a, a, a considered as a consciousness, right? It's like the, the, the societal uh, or the, 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 the consciousness of the society, and if you have this, if you have this uh, consciousness about the society, I mean, it's pretty much happening, right? That there's going to be a big war. So again, if you don't have money, if you don't have the connections, if you don't have a community, if you don't have cash flow, if you don't have money, again, then you are fucked, bro. Like there's no way you're going to get out of the country. There's no way you're going to get your family out. And again, it doesn't matter if you are in the US or somewhere else, this can happen everywhere. Right. So having this community is way more than just making money and trading a little bit. It's about setting you guys up and even setting you guys up in the mindset. So you know what you can do when this happens. Right. I mean, the same thing with the Ukraine war. Happened overnight, bro. Imagine you live in the Ukraine, bro. What are what you going to do? You know, like if you don't have money, if you don't have someone to, you know, you can give 10K and say, bro, get me out of this country. If you don't have connections outside, you just have to stay, bro. And your family uh, from now living in a peaceful country, having their job, going to kindergarten, to school, uh, there are bombs flying over them, right? That's insane. And even I completely mis mistook the Ukraine war, right? I, I thought like, this is just like a move. It's going to be a couple of days. This is still ongoing, right? Still ongoing. Many, many, many people died. So that's insane. So you have to take it real, right? You have to be very conscious about that. And again, I just want to open your money mindset because money dictates all of this, all of it. And the probability of you and you having money is going to give you so much opportunities and it's going to help you so much in life. Now, the last couple of minutes, uh, awareness is key. The last couple of minutes, if you want, we can do a Q&A. I mean, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. So maybe you want to even, you know, uh, maybe Cindy can unmute you. I can unmute you if you want to lift your arm or you just want to stay here. Um, let's just do like a little bit of a Q&A and then I'll have to leave and get ready for a meeting. Um, but yeah. I muted you by accident, sorry. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to say maybe there's some questions that, you know, we can answer and then I'll have to get ready for a meeting. And then again, hopefully these guys gave you the awareness of money mindset, why it's so important to educate your own money and why it's so important right now to make money. Yes. So is there anyone? And hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys, you know, don't go out of the Zoom call with a negative and bad feeling because my job is definitely not to make your day bad and feel negative, but, you know, just feel like sparked up and fired up to really make this serious. What are the chances we are, we ever have Iman Getsy? I mean, I'm making a lot of moves um, to get into these communities. And obviously there are in general just two people that are, I am interested in, right? Two really big Gs that I think are really original and they do something that is bigger than what we do currently. And that's Iman and that's Andrew Tate, right? Now, obviously Andrew Tate is a difficult situation and uh, the very opinionated people are about him, right? But for me, it doesn't matter who you are as long as I can, I can learn something from you. But um, Iman Gatsi obviously is for me a first step in seven years that I'm joining a community. I mean, I've been building communities in seven years. I've never been part of a community. So this, um, you know, me being accepted into the community where you have to go through an application process and they only take 50 people a month and they kick most of them out. I don't let, let them in. Obviously, it's a big thing for me. I'm very happy about it. They have a lot of, you know, good stuff. So I'm going to connect with them 100%. I mean, they do community meetups. I mean, Imam basically lives 25 minutes from where I live in Dubai. So it's not that far away. I mean, Dubai is anyways pretty small. But I see the probably very high and, you know, um, when they asked me on the application process, why do I want to join the community? I told them that, um, I, not, not Iman, it's like one of his uh, employees, uh, a really nice guy called Max, and he does all the applications and they ask like harsh questions and, you know, it's like one hour. So I said, like, I, I am like Iman, you just have to take, uh, and I say it respectfully, I'm like Iman, you just have to add one more person in my story and that's my little sister because I have like basically the same story as Iman. Um, and I'm just loyal to the cause, right? I'm loyal to the cause that there's something bigger in life and that is information changes situation, right? And they loved it. So that's basically what I want to do. I want to get the information. And part of the information that I taught you about today comes from the video that I've watched today, which was a two hour videos about the market, which if I lay my information over what they say, it's a perfect thing. So I've been teaching you about this. I wanted to do actually a little bit of a different money mindset talk, but I think this is very important right now. So yeah, very high. Uh, I mean, I'm doing everything, right? I'm doing everything. And I, I know that one day these people will also teach our people. Do you think the crash is going to cause a war? Uh, I guess the war and the crash is going to be like a thing that is going to be hand in hand. You know, I don't think that the US is just going to give everyone else the superpower. It depends, you know, like most likely if you have been a superpower, you don't just give them the golden key. Like you're going to fight for it, right? So... I think there's going to be a war bigger than the Ukraine conflict. Where's safe or where's the best keep invest the current money till we can invest after the crash? So uh, there's not one thing that is safe. I would always diversify. So I would not even leave all the money in USDT. I would have money on USDT. I would have money on USDC. I would have money in US dollars. I would have money in gold. I would like, it depend, depends how much money you have, right? So if you are like, have $1,000 and that's all the money and you're making parts of it, a little bit difficult but if you have a lot of money obviously then be smart about it and and diversify because there's nothing where i could point at right now and say this is safe because there is nothing there's never going to be something uh, or any asset that is 100 safe it's like diversify right i'm so diversified and uh, especially when it comes to holding cash and money you know have don't have cash don't have don't put it in a bank but have usdt have usdc have a little bit in bitcoin a little bit in ethereum maybe a little bit in gold yes, again depends on how much money you have how would you simplify crypto forex and binary mostly forex and what what tp is and stop loss and some uh tips on your own words yeah so first of all obviously you learn all of this in the universities right obviously at the beginning it's sometimes just like very difficult to understand so crypto is digital money right it's money that no one can control especially when it comes to bitcoin that's why bitcoin is so valuable forex is the market of where currencies are exchanged right there are over 50 currencies in the world and they go up and down reflecting the economy and these 
up and up and up and downs can you know you can take advantage of it and make money binary trading is betting if the market goes up or down um take profit tp means that's the 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 um, that's where we go out of the market that's where we set our point of where we leave the market or the the, the trade automatically closes in profit stop loss is uh, you know stopping our loss it helps us to uh, evade going all the way down if the market goes into the wrong direction it kicks out ours at, at one point right so that's how would i exp that's how i would explain it what is what what it be uh, would it sorry would it be the best to keep your money in crypto compared to banks definitely why because um crypto if you have it on a ledger for example no one can touch it it's it's like you cannot touch it you cannot take it right so that's why i'm saying usdc usdt these are all stable coins it means one usdt is one dollar right for example now this is also going to be interesting in the future again just diversify have a lot of it usdt usdc bitcoin ethereum the major stuff right if you have so much cash then buy a fucking watch right uh, buy gold buy silver you know you can the crazy thing is you know instead of losing my losing my shoes here so instead of for example just having cash that's what i did i just buy like these oh sorry that's where the camera is i buy these small gold things right that's like 20 grams of gold uh this reflects about 1300 us dollars right so i rather have these ones than having cash and you can buy them and you can easily sell them right so i don't want to have cash i just want to have assets so that's what i would do and definitely not leave it at the bank or on the bank or in the bank what's the best market in your eyes crypto forex binary uh to learn forex to make money crypto binary is forex it's just a way of trading so binary is how you start in forex then you learn about forex because if you have mastered the forex markets you master all the markets and then crypto most likely is the market where you can make a lot of money also in forex but crypto is a little bit easier because you are not trading it you're most likely investing into it how much time do you say we have to make enough money to get in an investment while it's on discount so the problem is it's very difficult to say that right but what is the opposite the opposite is even you're not making money or you're taking too long so basically today right the best day would be today to have the money okay so start right now i cannot tell you definitely the next two years is going to be hard so i forecast in the next two years that we're going to have a next war that uh, we're going to have a big war us dollars crashing we have a transition of um of empires from the western into the eastern world china we will have a new currency a reserve currency which probably is going to be either a digital or a chinese or all of these countries together come up with a currency and crypto is going to pump hardcore in 2024 for the next halving most likely going to 107 127k per bitcoin or even more a uh, ripple definitely higher than all-time high ethereum definitely more than 10k and that's what i'm looking at that's what i truly believe and now you know why my actions are my actions and why i'm saying what i'm saying and that's what I truly believe in. This is my opinion. You don't have to take it. That's my opinion backed by the knowledge that I have, the experts that I have, the trading skills that I have, the investment skills that I have. And I'm, 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 I really think that's going to happen, right? So it's going to be very interesting. So again, the time to have money is right now, right? And obviously as soon as possible. I mean, in the next two years, in the next three years, there's always going to be opportunities, but there's not going to be such an opportunity like the next two or three years. It's going to be fucking insane. It's going to be wild. It's going to be, it's already so fucking wild, isn't it? Like, let's be honest, honest. It is already fucking wild. You know, it's really wild what is happening in the world. Really wild. The most of the stuff we just don't even listen to or we don't consume it or they just hide it from us, you know? I mean, bro, like, what the fuck? The US government is reporting on UFOs, right? Uh, in China, they say they found an island that has dinosaurs on it. Japan says they have found 7,000 islands that they didn't know about. How the fuck do you find 7,000 islands? It's just like, oh, shit, there are 7,000 islands in front of our coast we didn't know about, right? I mean, in, in America, they're talking about gendering and changing the pronouns and names. Uh, in, 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 in Germany, the inflation is so high and people cannot even warm their houses anymore. Uh, bro, what the fuck is wrong? Like, the world is so, you know, bro, what the fuck? Like, it is already a fucking mess, bro. If you just like look at it a little bit, like if you have a normal mindset and if you have, uh, if you are not so consumed by the bullshit that is happening, if you just like look, like take a little glimpse on the world, bro, it's this fucking clown world. Like it is insane clown world, bro. This shit's gonna come down hardcore, bro. It's too many clowns everywhere. 
And if you are smart, and I'm going to leave the Zoom call with one thing that changed my complete mindset in my life. It was taught by my uncle. He's a multimillionaire uh, in Africa. He built this empire after the Angolan Civil War. Um, and he said to me, Miguel, in a country or in the world where everyone is blind, you only need to have one eye opened and you are a king. And that's what's happening right now. And he has been teaching me that. And I've reread it so many times. And actually, this is a saying that many, many kings gave their young sons when they raised them into the throne. That's what they used to teach them and tell them that in a, in a country where everyone is blind, you need to have one eye open. Now, imagine you have two eyes open. One eye open is knowing about the situation, situational awareness. Two eyes open is having the skill and the money. So what I'm doing and what we are doing is we are opening both of the eyes for the people so they are prepared for what is coming. So again, don't forget this. Don't forget this. Very important. Okay, guys, I love you. I need to leave because I still have to shower and get dressed and everything for the meeting. Um, I'm going to meet a, a guy that is interested in our business. So I'm going to explain it to him. And uh, it's going to be nice because that's what I do since seven years. Um, and hopefully we're going to have a new member. So I really want to grow the Dubai community and it's really blowing off. So again, guys, really appreciate you guys' time. Uh, hopefully you guys are leaving this Zoom call with two eyes open. And uh, again, don't feel stressed, don't feel stressed, but in a positive way, you know, don't, uh, hopefully I didn't kick your anxiety one more time. I respect and love every gender, every religion, every country. Sometimes I, I talk a little bit mean. I don't mean it in terms of, you know, hurting anyone. It's just like, uh, sometimes I just have to talk like it so people fucking understand it. Because uh, someone said it, I don't know who it was, but someone said, I don't speak English, I speak facts, and that's true. So I'll see you guys, TPR's The Crown. Love you guys. Let's get it. Thank you, Cindy, for letting me on this call.